Yeah, welcome ladies and gentlemen. This is the mysterious Dr. Stereo and this is Mando Stereo, the world in three dimensions, three dimensional video blog here on YouTube. And what is it I want to talk about today? It is how to do stereoscopic photos. If you have a DSLR camera, an analog or digital SLR camera, and I got this one, it is a Canon. And you have a very good possibility that I'm using since 2004, and this is with this lens. Noreo 3D lens in the cap, it comes from Hong Kong, and it's very, very handy to use. You just click it onto your SLR camera, zack, and it's ready. You can start taking three-dimensional photographs at an instance. You just put the thing on. You have uh, f-stop 11 and 22, and three marks for distance. I chose choose the near distance and I'm taking a photo of these beautiful flowers right now. Zack. So these are these beautiful flowers and you can see the, uh, they are very beautiful and in 3D. The photo looks like this. It's a side-by-side -side format. It's on the APS-C chip. You got a left and a right half because you have two lenses built in there. And the lenses make a left view and a right view. You got this photo, you take your chip, your card, to your development station, you're given this paper print, and how to, how to view it. You can use this thing, this is a Loreo viewer in beautiful three colors. You put it in there, zack, and then you look in there and you, wow, it's so stereoscopically, it's so plastic. <laughs> the hands almost touch me, it's zum Greifen now, you can say. Isn't it cool? No, it's not cool because you can't buy this thing anymore. This lens is no longer produced. But, voila, this lens is now produced. Put it away. So what do we got here? We have a box. It's reading Loreo 3D lens in a cap 9005. Right, this is the 9005. This was the 9004. It's no longer produced. You can check it out on the website from Loreo, www.loreo.com. And there you can read that this thing is no longer produced. But this thing has it replaced. So we open the bag. And what do we see here? The 9005. There's quite a difference. The interocular distance is now greater, it's 90 millimeters. This was about pff, eh, 60 millimeters. But the handling is the same. Just take it and put it on your zack, DSLR and then you can start shooting. You have three f-stops now, 11, 16 and 22. You have four uh, distance points, 1.5 meters 2.2 meters, 5 meters and infinity. I'm gonna take uh, a photo of the flowers here in each of the four distance steps and you can see the difference. So first photo, second photo, third photo and fourth photo. Zack. And as you can see the uh, point of parallax is um, changing and this is the great magic that this lens does because if you look inside the thing when you change in the distance you see one lens is moving from left to right so this is a parallax coupled uh, focus device if the parallax is uh, at the zero point then the focus is uh, automatically at point you can use it each way around focusing if the focus is, is right then the parallax is also right or if the parallax is right the focus is right yeah, after you have taken your photos, you just take your card, walk to the development station and get your beautiful prints. And like I said before, this is the print. Looks something like that. You can put it in there and look at it and wow. Or you can also try this one. This is the foldable uh, Pixie Viewer produced by Loreo. Foldable, foldable. You fold it here and there and put it here and there. Zack. 
And then you can view the photo like this, and it's also working. It's very good. It's very good quality. This is so the the, the most easiest part to make 3D photos and to give it to to, to relatives or to friends. This thing costs about five euros, maybe five dollars or, or three dollars, something like this. This costs around nothing, and it's a really a, a cool present. <laughs> it's fun each time you look at it. Yeah. Put it away. So, what else is there to say? Yeah, the f-stop. The f-stop 11 indicates that you uh, should shoot when very much light is available. I liked it very much to shoot with the thing when very low light was available in, in, in Kellers during punk rock and hard rock concerts where there's one bulb in the corner and the band is hardly seeing their own instruments. So you have to choose a long shutter opening time. <laughs> so a tenth of a second or a half second. And you get a blurry mess, a uh, real blurry mess. You can hardly see anything, but it's in 3D. A uh, blurry mess in 3D is a real cool thing to behold. And if you release the flash afterwards on top of this blurry mess, then you have a very sharp ghost image. That's also very cool. You can see it here, the blurry mess, and here is the sharp, the sharp image. And these are photos I just took uh, two or three weeks ago. This, these are the Vernets from Berlin. Very cool band. I really can say, folks, try this lens. For if you're a beginner and you're thinking, oh, oh my god, what's it with 3D? I want to take 3D photos. How am I going to do these? Try this one. It's really good. I'm doing one more photo. Uh, perhaps, perhaps. Zack. Yeah, it works. So, if you want to give this lens a try, I can really encourage you to do so. You can also visit my website where you can see a lot, a lot, a lot of images that I took during rock concerts with this lens. So, thank you for watching this episode of Mondo Stereo, the world in three dimensions. I'm your host, the mysterious Dr. Stereo. And hope you tune in next time. I don't know what I'm talking about, but it will be very interesting. I can promise. Thanks a lot. Goodbye.